Today, scientists are trying to unlock the secrets of arthropod success. At the University of California at Berkeley, scientist Bob Full runs a lab devoted to understanding every aspect of arthropod locomotion. The ease with which they move about the world is clearly a key factor in their success. Full probes the reasons why they are so good at traversing the Earth. Really, I'm interested in their movement, so you can discover the secrets of how their muscles and their skeletons work to allow them to move so wonderfully in the environment. Arthropods are built low to the ground, an inherently stable design. Studied at slow speeds, their movement reveals a telling pattern. When we looked at arthropod locomotion, we saw that they function in general like a tripod or a stool. Three legs are on the ground at once, and as a result, they're incredibly stable. Yet most arthropods need to move extremely fast. Full discovered that speed is possible because their walk doesn't require much brain power. We typically think that control of locomotion comes from your brain. In fact, without any brain at all or any reflexes, the animal can self-stabilize by using this wonderful skeleton because the skeleton can act as a spring and a shock absorber, greatly simplifying the control. But Full has found that jointed legs seem to be the essential marvel of arthropod design. They actually can act as springs and struts and shock absorbers to keep the animal stable so that it's able to use its power to move forward in the environment. Full's lab has dissected the arthropod body plan for the secrets of its strength and resilience. They've discovered that the best way to move over the surface of the earth is the arthropod way. One day soon, humans may put the arthropod body to work in robotic probes and explorers. Physicist Mark Tilden was trying to build walking machines that could traverse complex terrain. They turned out to resemble arthropods. The interesting thing about these type of designs is that they're efficient, contained, mechanically very simple, and they last for a long time. Arthropods are essentially the optimal mechanical design for this planet. Simple arthropod-like walking machines such as this have spawned more elaborate variations. Some of these other prototypes are at the cutting edge of technology. Ed Williams is the chief technician for the robot, Ariel. Ariel represents a first step in coming up with a robot that's as sophisticated as an arthropod. One of the advantages of being an arthropod or a robot modeled on an arthropod is having jointed legs so that you can negotiate a much rougher terrain than you can with wheels or tracks. When it comes to building a machine for locomotion, Ed believes we must admit that the arthropods have us beat. Arthropods are so good at scrambling around an environment that's so rough and they can do it so fast that it's currently just can't be duplicated by anything else. The original inspiration for Ariel was biological. She was patterned after a crab. She has six legs where a crab has 10, but she walks sideways on her legs like a crab does rather than forward on six legs like an insect does. Thank you, baby. Ariel is crab-like, but she has no natural instincts. She must be programmed to sense and interpret the world around her. 
and it takes all the power of her onboard computer just to move her legs in concert. Though she walks like a crab, Ariel lacks tools like claws, which enable crabs to manipulate their environment. None of our robot imitations can yet match even the simplest real arthropod. But like the very first arthropods in the primeval sea, Ariel may be on the verge of pioneering excursions into new realms. The supreme adaptability of her body plan may take her where few machines or people have gone. And she may help us peer into the greatest unknown region of Earth. Well, the ocean is largely unexplored still. Um, we know possibly more about the outer planets than we know about the depths of our own ocean. One of the problems with preserving the ocean is just simply getting enough information about the ocean from the remote places. Craft like Ariel could easily get to the more remote places of the ocean and send back data that we currently can't afford to gather. It would be such a boon to ocean research that it's just extremely exciting for us. One day, we ourselves may use the incredible arthropod body plan to help us research and better understand our world.